going to talk about fungus today. So how do you identify fungus in your lawn? Well, if you're looking at this lawn, this is a good example. Uh, you got a lot of green, so you know that you've got good coverage with water. Uh, you've looked at the sprinklers, everything is working the way that it should, but you still end up with yellow spots and yellow within the lawn. Uh, and in some places, it's actually to the point where it's dead and it's just not recovering. Well, this is a good example of what fungus can look like. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of fungus, but this right here is uh, something that just needs to be treated with a fungicide. So it's not a difficult process, and we're going to show several examples uh, in this video of how to identify fungus. So what we're looking at is you've got yellow within the green, some different color, discolor variations, as well as you've got some holes within the lawn. And we've talked before about how you can tell the difference between a bug versus a fungus. You know that a bug eats the roots. So if you go up to the lawn and you can literally pull it back, you know that the, the, uh, the problem is not a fungus, it's, it's bugs because they there's nothing left of the root system this on the other hand if you go up and tug on this yellow you know it is very well rooted here's another example of you can clearly see that there's plenty of green throughout the rest of the lawn but you have these yellow spots that I you know you can water and water and water and it won't change this is a fungus so when you water like crazy, you continue to have this type of a result, then you know you need to get it treated with a fungicide. So yet another example of, of what fungus can look like in the symptoms. Okay, another example. So look at this one. This one has green everywhere. You can see the dirt is wet. So the sprinklers are working. It's getting where it needs to go, but you have these dead spots. So over time, fungus is killing the grass and then you start getting these spots here. Now, you can tell that it's more of a fungus because you still have grass growing inside. So you've got dead spots, then green and dead, and it's pretty close together. Like I said, if it's a bug, bugs will eat outward. And so there's not the green, the, you know, the brown, the green, the brown, and it's a little different color. So we'll do another video all on bugs, but this kind of shows you what to look for with a fungus. If you look over on this other side of the yard, you will see that it's completely green, except for you've got some development of, of this yellow starting to come through, and it, it's as easy as just throwing down a fungicide. Okay, so this is another example of fungus. Uh, there's plenty of water getting to each of these lawns, uh, but you start getting this discoloration, this different colors. This one's a little bit different. This one is more circles, uh, but this is also a fungus and we're gonna treat it the same way, just using the spreader and same with the fungicide. Okay, another example. We're back at our own lawn here and we are starting to see a couple things develop in our yard. And so uh, if you're watching for discoloration or you're just kind of paying attention to your lawn it will it will talk to you you'll start seeing patterns that show up as soon as you start seeing these things it, that's the time to start attacking it this right here you can see we've got a fungus starting right here in this in this area we've got lots of green everywhere but you can see a little bit of yellow is just starting to come through now in this area what is interesting about this right here we had uh, about 15 20 years ago we had a tree that was right here we did not take all of the roots out. We did grind up the stump, but what's left in there still is decomposing. That is creating a different kind of fungus as well. So this is why this area is starting to show up like this. However, a lot of times you don't know if there's gonna be roots or what's causing it, but you can definitely see that there's a pattern developing. So over on this side, we've got some more fungus that's starting to show up and you can see the discoloration. You can see how the, the grass is starting to grow just a little bit different. So that's another fungus. Now, so what do you do? Why? Well, now you have this fungus, you've identified that you've got fungus. What do you do? Well, you need to get a fungicide. And there's 
a lot of different fungicides out there. Um, and depending on the kind of fungus that you have, if you get one that has a little bit broader uh, reach, if that makes sense, of all the different kinds of funguses that it can treat. This one here is what we're using today. It's infused. It uh, attacks like 15 to 20 different types of fungicides or fungus. And so this fungicide is uh, what we're going to use today. Now, all fungicides are a little bit different. Some of them are a little bit stronger. Some of them are not quite as strong. And so the dosage is going to be a little bit different. On the back of the bag, it will tell you this particular one that we're going to put down, it's every 14 days. So we need to make sure that we mark on the calendar every 14 days we're going to be putting this down. So how are we going to put this down? We are just using just our Scott spreader. It doesn't matter what kind of spreader that you're using, you just want to make sure that you put it in this spreader. Some fungicides are going to warn you against doing like the handheld kind. Uh, because they are uh, a little bit more potent uh, and they don't want it to get all over you. So uh, just kind of pay attention, but the concept's gonna be the same. You're just gonna throw it into the hopper of your spreader and then pay attention to most bags will give you some kind of an indication. I always recommend just starting at zero. So just turn it all the way down to zero, start walking it around, because as you can see, these granules are actually really tiny. They're not very big. So some of the fertilizers are a little bit bigger than that. Some of the fungicides are a little bit bigger. And your spreader, it's it, every one of them is going to be a little bit different. The tension on the cables are a little bit different. Even if you had two of the same kind of spreaders back to back, they may spread at different rates. So that for that reason, I always recommend setting it to zero and then slowly working it up until you have a dis decent distribution. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're doing fertilizer, fungicide, grass seed, the concept's still the same. It's better to have it at a lower setting and walk back and forth, uh, you know, 15 times versus going back and forth one or two times. So it, the distribution rate of it will be a little bit better, uh, a little bit more spread out, and you'll be able to get a little bit better coverage and make the fungicide reach a little bit further. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on and then every 14 days we'll treat this and hopefully get on top of it. Well, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, please make sure you, if you liked it, to uh, leave a, a thumbs up and a like for us and, and, uh, and subscribe and, and we'll just continue to do this kind of content and, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Thanks.